What do a fulfilling career, effective leadership and sustained weight loss have in common? One of my clients asked me recently what she could do to feel healthier and fitter in her body. She's doing great in her career. She's much clearer about the direction she wants to go in and now she's turning her attention to her health. Now it would be easier for me to give a cut and dried answer. I'm a doctor by background. I've worked in public health and I have a PhD in obesity, but I know that that's not what's going to help my client. I'm in the root causes business. I like looking and working with common denominators. So what's the common denominator here? It's healthy, flexible self image. With a healthy, flexible self image, you're free to adapt as needed to your circumstances. And you're always operating in your own interest. You don't have to change every single behavior because you're coming from a place that's healthy at the core. Now, how do you cultivate this healthy, flexible self image? Well, in this week's Wise Wednesdays, which is my weekly newsletter, I share seven principles for how to do that. If you're interested in finding out more and want to receive these articles straight to your inbox, you can subscribe to Wise Wednesdays using the link above or below. And by joining Wise Wednesdays, you also have access to the weekly Wise Wednesdays live where you can connect with me directly and ask me questions or sometimes get coached. In the meantime, I want to share one of the seven principles with you. So at the core of a healthy self image is becoming the person whose intention is stronger than their compulsion. You become the person who cultivates intention over compulsion. And the first principle around that is reimagining your set point. I was mentored during my um, doctoral research by one of the foremost experts in the psychology of obesity. And she pointed out to me that we both had set points of how we saw our weight and our body. And that's what regulated our behaviors around food and exercise. This set point is determined by genetics, but also by culture. So it's modifiable. So by cultivating a healthy set point, you're able to maintain healthier behaviors rather than trying to control your behaviors one at a time. You can use techniques like visualization for this, but you can also look at beliefs that you hold around your body image, your self image, beliefs around food, beliefs around exercise. Now in the article, I go deeper into some of the other things you can do. I hope that's helpful for now and I wish you a wonderful week. Stay well.